This is Cimarron. She was built by Aquiline in 2008. She's 60 feet long and a cruiser stern deck. She's in lovely condition. The paint works very good externally and the fit out inside is first class, as in my opinion, you would come to expect from Aquiline. Bus style windows throughout the boat, except for two portholes, one in the bathroom, one in the corridor leading to the bathroom. And a large stern deck, six foot six, under that is the Isuzu 42 engine, approximately 1300 hours on that. Huge bank of batteries on board, three 200 amp hour gel batteries for the domestics. Here's the view from the helmsman position. She's reverse layout, so down we go into the galley. Beautiful feel to her granite worktops, solid wooden floors. She's lined in oak throughout. Sink opposite the cooking equipment. Full burner gas hob with an oven and grill underneath. We'll look at that in a minute. Very easy access up these steps, and there's actually lights in them. They look lovely when it's uh, when it's dark and they're switched on. It's the electrics cupboard. Aquiline do this so neatly, I think. There we are, all the fuses. There's the inverter, the calorifiers underneath. On the other side, good size cupboard. And the Aldi gas central heating boiler is under the floor there in this cupboard. Plenty of storage space in the galley. Good drawers here. These are double depth drawers. The tray there lifts out to expose the same depth underneath for things you use less often. And here's the fridge. 230 volt as a new see with an ice box. Here's the grill, oven underneath. Boat feels very clean, very luxurious. Everything's solid. I mentioned the Audi gas central heating. That powers three radiators on board and a towel rail in the bathroom. There's the carousel cupboard that I like so much in these kitchens. Some more cupboards over the work surfaces there. On into the dinette. That makes up into a second double berth. Storage underneath. It's a nice side hatch opposite. And then the saloon. It's empty now. There were two captain swivel armchairs in here, but you could have a sofa bed. Armchairs. Freestanding furniture. Whatever you like, really. There's the more so squirrel. In this cabinet houses the television. And there's a DVD player underneath in this bag, you can see. Let's just turn around and have a look, another look back down the saloon and into the galley. There we are. Lovely. Down through the corridor on the starboard side of the boat to the bathroom. I like the way Aquiline do their bathrooms. Feel very posh. Ceramic sink, marble worktop, uh, granite worktops rather. Macerated pump out loo. There's a full size mirror there, which I'm going to have to work hard at not getting myself in, in this video. There's a towel rail. Next to the shower, there's a sort of linen shelf stroke cupboards. The shower's lovely. Frosted glass. It's a corner cubicle, tiled inside, good space, and there's a light in there as well. I think I avoided the mirror, well done me. Then into the bedroom in the forward cabin of the boat. Very nice woodwork in here, as with the rest of the boat. There's a radiator. It's got a sweet little dressing table in the corner. A floor to ceiling, double wardrobe here. It's cavernous, this wardrobe. A 
lots of cupboards over the bed. The front door to the boat are glazed and they do have bungs in uh, to keep the light out at night. Two huge drawers under the bed. A couple of rather trendy looking reading lights over the bed head. Out onto the well deck, the gas locker is in the forward locker there. Storage under the bench seats. Water is under the well deck. The well deck itself is four feet long. Let's have another glimpse into the bedroom. There we go. Lovely boat, very good condition, solid. Simmering. For further details and a fully downloadable colour brochure, go to www.rugbyboats.co.uk.